The biggest technology companies believe we are on the brink of a new tech revolution. From the Amazon Echo to Google Home, Silicon Valley is betting on virtual assistants powered by artificial intelligence. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos calls the impact of artificial intelligence and natural language understanding gigantic. Google CEO Sundar Pichai predicts, quote, we will move from mobile first to an AI first world. CBS News contributor Nicholas Thompson is editor of the New Yorker magazine's website, newyorker.com. Nick, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. A little revolution we're looking at? We are looking at something very important. Jeff Bezos just said yesterday that he has a thousand people working on this right now. So this is huge. This is going to be huge. And who's going to get in it? Well, right now, all the big tech companies are in it. So there are a lot of people making digital assistants. So Amazon has one that we know. It has Alexa. Apple has Siri. Google has one. Microsoft has Cortana. Those are sort of general assistants that do lots of tasks. And Viv is coming up. Yep. And then and Facebook is working on one, too. And then there are a thousand startups that have specific chatbots or assistants or people who try to work on very specific tasks for you. So this is a merger of AI and, and voice recognition. And yep. All that. Those two things coming together right, right. now. I love Alexa's voice. There's just something, I, I, yes. I almost picture her. I just think I, I kind of know her. I just think she's so soothing to me to my ear. Well, that's I wake what, up does to that, her. Do you? Yes. That's what? one of the brilliant things that Apple and wait, Amazon wait, 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 have done. How do you wake up to her? Uh, first thing I do when I wake up, I say, what's the temperature? Alexa, Alexa, what's the temperature? temperature uh-huh. Right. Alexa, what's the news? Yeah. Alexa. Yeah, and they'd say your name, too. I think that that's so cool. Genius branding. Giving, <laughs> yes. them, giving them names, giving them voices that people yes. find attractive. It's been very helpful to those Okay, companies. you have a virtual assistant named... Amy. I do. <laughs> so I have, One, why is she a woman? And two, how well does she work? So I, have, I don't have an assistant at the office, so I, I use a company called x.ai that has a, basically an email bot that schedules my meetings for me. She's a woman because that's the default. You can change her to Andrew if you want. Okay. And so what I do is I CC her on threads, I like Amy. and she sets up meetings for me. She has access to my Google Calendar. She knows when I'm free. She knows when I'm not free. Now give us an example of an exchange between yes. you, uh, you and Amy. Dear Amy, I need to set up a phone call with Charlie for this afternoon. Can you schedule it? And then Amy will email you. We'll figure out a time when I'm free and we'll talk on the phone. Now, it works pretty well. It mm -hmm. works better than, the, than me doing it myself when I didn't have an assistant, but it also gets confused. If I say, hey, Charlie, let's schedule a conversation sometime between Thursday and Monday. Um, next week, are you traveling? It can get, it, if the thread gets complicated, it has a hard time with it. So what happened when the producers tried to schedule meetings with you? Well, so what happened is um, one producer said, hey, Nick, let's set up a call. I said, great. Then another producer was added, and then Amy, my virtual assistant, got confused because there were two producers on the thread, and she said, I'm not sure what's going on. So then I went back and I changed it, so it was just a direct communication with so, one producer, yeah, and we were able to set up a call. So did you so another intervene? Charlie and I are thinking right now, so if you're a single man and you're dating multiple women, and do not use one of these assistants. That, that, is, is that what you were thinking? Were we were kind of, no, of course oh. not. <laughs> so the, so well, the, one could draw that conclusion. Yeah. I have no experience in that particular scenario. Well, there's always a trail. I think Nora raises a very good point. Yeah. So, but what's, what's also very interesting, and this actually does come up, is that humans are looking at it on the back end. And this happens with a lot of chatbots where we are in AI right now. Mm -hmm. You may think you're dealing just with a robot or you're dealing just with artificial intelligence, but actually when there's a complicated request, it's sent to the back office to a whole bunch of humans who are training it because the AI program has to learn. So Amy, my assistant, has to learn how to parse complicated requests, which means she needs a human to review it, which means if you're a single guy in that scenario, you probably really don't want it because of privacy concerns. There you go. Uh, the interesting thing, it's only going to get better. Yeah, it's yes. only going to, absolutely and very quickly. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Nick Thompson. Always good to see you. Thank you.